Hey everybody, Sexy here. Um, I've been sick, but I'm finally back and able to paint again. So I'm trying to get some stuff out there and I've been working on this piece for a client. Um, and um, I didn't have a lot to go on. Um, they said they wanted it to be um, mainly red and then all the other explanation I got was fruit colors. It's gonna go in a kitchen, so they want it to be red and fruit colors. That's what I got. So, um, I'll show you what I had in mind. Um, let me get just a little bit more of this paint. Um, that is Glidden. Uh, it's my usual stuff. Uh, it's Glidden Base 1 uh, for the pillow. And then I have Glidden Base 3 um, with my bright tone for my colors. Um, that's my um, my usual mix. Uh, I have mixed a little bit of uh, GAC 800 in with this just as a preventative. Um, I have used just the Glidden without the GAC 800 um, and I did not have, um, I can't remember, I don't think I had any crazing. If I did, it was minimal. Um, but I mixed it in anyway just as a preventative um, just to be sure because I hate crazing and um, I don't like to take chances with it so um, that's what I what I usually do and so when I say my usual Shelly Art inspired mix that's what I'm talking about it's Glidden Premium um, base one and base three base one is the pillow and base three is for the colors and when you mix the colors I use um, one part um, of the bright tone or whatever um, varnish you want to use you can use polyacrylic I just think the bright tone works better. Um, so I use one part of that to the two parts of the Glidden Base 3. And then um, when I do this pillow, um, I just um, add about that much of the GAC to it. Um, and this one, um, you know, like I said, they they want a lot of red in it. So this is right here. This is a um, cadmium red medium hue Liquitex, um, and I have some of that made up from the last one I did. And then um, mainly as my primary red, I use um, a different one. Um, anyway, let's go ahead with this, and I'll tell you as we go. Um, for I've got a couple of colors that I used for the last one that I'm going to kind of add in a little bit of, but that right there is that cadmium. This is lime green uh, by Liquitex, and I love that color. I just love it. Um, I think it's so pretty. Um, so I got that. And then I've got some um, phthalo blue here. Um, I'm not sure what um, fruit is blue. Not really any, I don't think. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to put some blue in it. So there's not a whole lot of it, but some. Um, um, then I have um, this purple. This is actually Artist Law Blue, uh, Blue Violet, um, but it's mostly purple. So I'm thinking grapes when I have that. And um, grapes. So, got that. And then, um, this is Artist Law Metallic Cobalt Blue, which actually looks more like a teal to me. 
and again it's not really a fruit color I just like it and wanted some of it in there it looks a little green to me I mean it looks like teal to me so um, I don't know anything that doesn't look better with a little teal you know it just I just like it and then um, here is some uh, yellow medium hue by Artisoft Bananas, I'm thinking. Um, and then I got this green. This is Grass Green by um, Master's Touch. And um, I just think it's a really good solid um, green and I like it. I think grass green is a perfect name for it because that's exactly what it looks like to me. And um, I think it's a good go-to just if you want just a real good solid green. And then this is um, orange medium hue um, Master's Touch for the oranges. And this is going to be really colorful. I mean, it's as close to a rainbow type piece that you'll ever see me do. Because I generally think if you're doing a rainbow piece, you've run out of ideas. <laughs> that may be, <laughs> that may be wrong, but I mean, anybody can, you know, you don't have to think too much to come up with a rainbow palette. You know, they're just not real, I just don't think it's real creative. But um, this is really what they wanted, so um, let's get some more all that red we got. This is the primary, uh, Master Such Primary Red, which is my favorite go-to red. Um, and I have a little bit of gold left over from that last one, so I'm going to just put it in there too. There's no sense in wasting it, and gold looks good on everything, so we're going to smatter a little gold in there I just can't ever leave out gold if I if I've got it and everything I'm I usually want to use it um, this is a little bit of the blue from the last piece I'm gonna go ahead and put that in too it's this is the blue violet um, and you can kind of see the the blue violet in that. Um, let's see. I wanted to just use all this up from um, the last go around. Um, they're the same colors. Just had a little extra. We have more paint than we need here, but that's okay. That's never a problem. Don't want it to go to waste and I don't know if I'm gonna do another one of these after this or not and then uh, for our cell activator this is um, two parts um, flow troll one part um, Amsterdam paint and there's a little bit of silicone in there because I just generally think why not it doesn't hurt anything I think it kind of helps so here we go let's see what we got
Okay, that one over blow. That one over blow. Okay, we're gonna turn it off. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to overblow it. We got some cells in there. We got some mixing going on. I try not to overblow them. That's easy to do. Um, very easy to do. I just figured I'd do a couple of different kinds of um, pours and then let them choose. I did a couple of flip cups and I may do one more flip cup. Um, and I did uh, one of these with just um, patches of, you know, like several different blooms on one canvas. Um, I have not done one that's just one big bloom, but I don't think I'm going to need to. I think one of these is probably, this is really pretty right here. Um, I think I'm going to be able to work with one of these probably. Um, that's beautiful. Um, I really like it. And uh, I like a couple of other ones I've done too. Um, this this is really beautiful. Um, let me get this corner on. I know y'all can't see very well right now, but this won't take but a second. I gotta get it. All right. I think that's just gorgeous. And there's lots of red. It has more red than any of the other ones I've done. Um, Just seeing if I need to stretch this a little bit. Um, I'm gonna pour a little bit off that corner and stretch that a little bit. Uh, pour a little bit more off this. Because um, it's really beautiful and I think it would look better if it was stretched a little bit more. And I may pour some off that top corner and stretch out up there. That's beautiful. I really like this one. It's got the right amount of red in it. Um, I think. I mean, it's hard to say when people don't give you much more to go on than that, which is typical. It's not you know, it's no big deal. It's just, you know, when you don't work with much more than that as far as the description goes, it's kind of um, hard to say. Um, but I know what, um, I know what I like. And um, I know, I think I know what looks good uh, most of the time. And, um, this is really pretty. Um, it's got some beautiful lacing um, that I may just pour a little bit more off the side and stretch this whole side a little more. <sighs> These get so daggum slippery. <sighs> That's beautiful. I think, I think this might be the one. It's got a lot of neat cells in it. It's got some beautiful lacing all over it, you know. Um, I think it's right up the alley. I'm just trying to pour a little bit off of it because I don't want it to craze. I don't think it will. I've got that GAC mixed in it and uh, I haven't ever had a problem with crazy when I've had the GAC mixed in it. Um, that just doesn't happen. Um, yeah, this might be the one. This is really pretty. Let me get some of this corner. I don't like this corner down here. 
Maybe just pour a little bit off that corner so I can, maybe I smudged it or something, but it doesn't look good. This is the one that I would use if I needed something with mostly red and fruit colors. Um, the other ones are beautiful too. Um, but uh, that is pretty spectacular, I think. All right, let me uh, let y'all look real close. Yeah, I think that one is pretty cool and if she doesn't want it I can definitely use it at the farmers market or put it somewhere here at the house I find room for things when you know when I can't get rid of them I try to find room for them here I don't have much room but <laughs> um I mean my house is pretty much taken over but um you never know yeah that's beautiful let's look up close Okay. The lacing um, and the cells in this one are really, really pretty. I have to get, I'm going to get it resined and all that. See that? That's beautiful. Yeah, I like this one. I think she'll like this one, too. Okay, y'all. Well, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate y'all coming back. I'm sorry I was out for so long. Uh, but I appreciate you being here and supporting my channel. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. And tune in again. I'm trying to get back on my schedule. So, y'all have a good day. Thank you.